welcome back to the channel today i'm filming the 2021 ram 1500 limited let's take a look at the front face of the ram 1500 as you guys know i showed you guys this truck before as you guys can see looking at the taillights it's going to be a full led with an led turn signal with an led daytime like these like the matrix style headlights here and down here at the lower part of the bumper it's going to be led fault lights with front parking sensors there's also black uh, tow hooks here there's your ram emblem here is blacked out with the front facing camera my tesla also has the sport hood here these heat extractors to release some of that heat from the 5.7 liter that my tester has my tester also has a night package where it blacks out all the blingy chrome that you normally get on the limited trim so this thing looks really aggressive with this bright white exterior color and honestly i'm a big fan of the black and white uh, contrast here but making our way to the side profile here of the ram 1500 it looks like every other pickup truck on the market a traditional pickup truck looking at these uh wheels here these are a 22 inch front these are a good year tire they're wrapped in a 285 45 with tire like i mentioned i like the finish here they're a black finish but if you go for the cr the limited trim without the uh, night edition package uh, you have these big 22 inch uh wheels here which is uh really nice this i'll show your ram uh, emblem here with this blacked out mirror cap with an led sight marker my tester does have the dual panoramic sun which is around 1400 bucks looking here my tester has the ram boxes once you open up the ram boxes here it does have a good amount of storage in the uh, inside here you can make, make this into a cooler this also has a, has a power outlet so once you flip that up you can uh basically do tailgating stuff or whatnot or power your tools but shutting this back and ram does give you a, a, a extra key so you can lock your ram boxes and there's the ram boxes embedded embedded on the actual uh, cover here but making our way to the rear of the 1500 here it's going to be led turn signal with an led brake light and led uh reverse light your blind spot monitor is going to be integrated into the tail light housing here that's your limited badge here your ram emblem a standard backup camera looking down here is also your seven pin connector led lights for your tag your tow hitch receiver down there is going to also have rear parking sensors with black tip uh, dual exhaust once you open up the cargo back here my tester has a damped uh, tailgate here as you guys can see i'm not sure yet it's gonna pick it up on the camera but the round boxes does cut into the actual cargo here so if you're looking for a little bit more space for the bed here i wouldn't i wouldn't option in the ram uh boxes here but there's gonna be led uh, lights in here with some tie down hooks and whatnot there's also this tunnel cover Sit inside the interior of the 2021 Ram 1500 Limited. I showed you guys this interior uh, once before. As you guys know, Ram has, Ram has the most luxurious interior out of the full truck uh, segment here. But to start up the Ram 1500, just put your foot on the brake and press the start stop button right here. As you guys can see, the gauges will do a nice sweep. There's this full LCD display right in front of the driver here. So you have your RPM layout here, also your speedometer there. And to customize this full LCD display, I showed you guys this before, just use this little uh, pad here to show you different things like your messages, audio, start stop uh, features and whatnot. Also your trip computer, I've been averaging around 15.5 miles to the gallon. This does have the 5.7 liter V8. You can also get this in the three liter V6 uh, diesel, which is a really good powertrain. It's really torquey. I showed you guys that uh, before as well. Your fuel economy there. You also have your driver's assistance, which includes adaptive cruise control, also lane centering and as well. You also have an off-road page and whatnot. It does show you what the wheels do uh, as you turn the steering wheel and whatnot. So if you're off-roading and you're limited, which I doubt most people will not take their limited uh, off-roading because this is the most luxurious truck in the actual or full-size uh, truck uh, segment here. My tester does also have a heads-up display, but it's not going to pop up on the camera. So I might just put a little B-roll to show you guys. Um, the heads of display. The materials here are going to be a nice leatherette material with some stitching. I like the, the dark chrome accent here. There's two person memory seats, a metal speaker cover here. This does have the Harmony Cardin sound system, which is part of a package. It is one touch up, one touch down for the driver and passenger. You can also power fold these uh, mirrors in as well. These are some massive mirrors. So, just in case you're towing something, you can definitely see what's around you as well. Your headlight controls are going to be here. You do have fault lights as well, electronic parking brake, adjustable pedals for short people like myself your dimmer switches and whatnot, your turn signal stock, and one wiper cycle is gonna be integrated into one. Looking at the stern wheel, like I mentioned, this does uh, control that uh, LCD display here, your RAM emblem. This does have the driver's assistant, which includes adaptive cruise control. You can also select your gears. This has the eight-speed automatic transmission. I like the uh, wood trim here on the stern wheel as well, I like the stitching, nice leather up stern wheel. The dashboard is gonna have this nice leather material with more stitching as well, a little compartment here. You also have the Harman and Kardon sound system uh, speaker there. There's a 12 volt up here, like I mentioned, additional storage. This doesn't have the Uconnect 5 system. Uh, the Pacifica is going to be the first one to introduce the Uconnect 5 system and also the new re redesign or refresh uh, Dodge Durango. 
you guys can see my tester does come with apple carplay and android auto I'm going here to show you the apple maps and whatnot i'm surprised it doesn't take up the full screen i wish ram will offer that it would show when it takes up the full screen here as you guys can see nice clean resolution from the screen as well you guys know the uconnect system is one of the best systems in the industry is fast responsive uh, i noticed here from the infotainment system i'm not sure um, I can't brighten up the heads of display, but I can see it just fine. But I know on the camera, you guys probably couldn't see it. But I'm trying to look in the actual uh, infotainment system here, but I cannot find the heads of display. There's these big knobs here for the volume and tuning. Your uh, controls here for the temperature and temperature gauge and whatnot. This is for the this houses the 8-speed automatic transmission. Put the RAM into reverse here. Nice backup camera. This does have a top-down 360 view with trajectory. It does have front and rear parking sensors. You can also uh, deploy the running boards as well. My tester also has three level heated and cool seats with a heated, a heated steering wheel function. Putting it into drive, like I mentioned, you can cycle through the eight speed automatic through these little gears here on the steering wheel. Putting it back into park there. This does have an automatic start stop with an actual lock as well. So if just in case you do want to take your 1500 limited off road, you can definitely do so. You can lock the rear axle. It's padded here with more stitching, which compartments down here. A little area here to rest your phone. Wireless charging pad, two cup holders here. Uh, area here to put your coins and whatnot is also lined with felt. The center console here is nice and padded. It's your limited badge. It's gonna have a two storage uh, compartment here. This does have a USB-C and whatnot. Open up this part here is deep amount of storage. You probably put a purse or a couple of wallets and whatnot in there. Shutting that back. My tester also has the leather seats with piping and stitching as a part of a package. Which is not a bad uh, package to get. Like I mentioned, three-level heated and cool seats. This does have the two-tier uh, glove compartment. As you can see, it has your limited uh, badge there with some more dark uh, chrome there. Open up that. It's lined with felt and interior. Open up the glove box down here. It's damped. It's lined with felt. It's a decent-sized glove box. Looking here, this, my tester does have the air ride suspension. None of the other pickup trucks in this segment offer the air ride suspension besides the 1500 here. There's stability control, a tow haul mode, front and rear parking sensors. You can turn that on or off. But this truck is massive, so I'll just leave that on. Um, like I mentioned, my tester does have the heads of display that's new for 2021. It's part of a technology package that's around a thousand bucks. Honestly, I would just option that in because you get this rear view camera mirror, and honestly, it's a nice, clean resolution. Up here, there's some controls. It's going to be LED lights throughout the whole entire cabin. There's an SOS button there. You can lower down the tailgate uh, from here. You can also open up that rear sliding glass back there as well. You can open up to let this to let the cabin have a little bit more air in it and whatnot. Also, there's going to be a tilt and vent function here for the panoramic sunroof, which is around 1400 bucks. Honestly, I would just option that in as well. But Ram did a really good job with the interior here of the 1500. Honestly, I've always been impressed by this interior. So I'm sitting in the back seat here of the Ram 1500, looking at the legroom. Ram says you get around 45.2 inches of legroom. That's the most legroom in the full size truck uh, segment here. So the, the Ford or the Silverado doesn't even offer that amount of legroom, but there is two map pockets back here as well. Uh, two cup holders here there's rear air vents back here with three level heated and cool seats with two usb c's also two usb ports it's going to be a household outlet right here the floor back here is nice and flat you can definitely fit three people across nice uh leather here i like the stitching and whatnot you can pull this little tab here and the all rest will fold down to reveal two more cup holders also a little storage compartment is lined with felt in the inside you can also fold this back up and just in case you want to have a nice uh, low floor back here as well. Ram does offer that with these little uh, divider uh, compartments. You can also get a dealer installed lockable storage. You can just fold that back down. With the seat, you can just go like this. You can also uh, recline the seats. Just put this little tab underneath this area here and you can just relax on a long road trip. My tester has the dual panoramic sunroof for around 1400 bucks, like I mentioned. It's gonna be LED lights throughout the whole entire cabin. The materials on the door here are really nice. I like the dark chrome here like i mentioned from the front seats and down here my tester has these little coolers here for, or you can make this into additional storage and whatnot but overall ram has the most comfortable back seat and also the most leg room in the actual segment so i have the hood open here for the ram 1500 limited but let's see what powers this big old pickup truck here this has the company's 5.7 liter hemi engine it's a v8 of course it makes 395 horsepower 410 pound feet of torque it's paired with an eight speed automatic transmission and as the ram sits weighs around 5600 pounds fuel economy is rated at 17 in the city 23 on the highway and 19 combined start off in the 2021 ram 1500 limited i showed you guys this uh, test drive or driving part once more before My test 
also has the company's 5.7 liter V8. It makes 395 horsepower at 410 pound feet of torque and is paired with an eight speed automatic transmission. Or is a really fast shifting transmission. If you guys are looking for two more additional gears like the 10 speed, you have to look at a Ford F-150 or a Chevy Silverado. Ram is the only truck in this uh, segment here to offer air ride suspension. Uh, the other competitors offer the leaf spring, but with the air ride suspension here, it's really good. Nice compliant ride. You can, it really feels like you're floating. My tester has the 22 inch rims, which look really stylish. If you go for the, if you don't go for the actual night edition package, that's around like 3,900 bucks. So you get all the bring the blingy chrome. If you're that kind of person that likes chrome, honestly, the black and white uh, contrast for me is a really nice uh, look to it. Uh, visibility at the ram here is really good you have these big uh, side mirrors here it does come with blind spot monitor as well this also has adaptive cruise control my tester also has this panoramic sunroof which lets a lot of light into this cabin if you're looking for a lot of leg room in the half ton truck pickup segment the ram offers the most leg room in the segment at 45.2 inches the silverado or the ford doesn't offer that amount of leg room so if you want to fit your family of five in here you can definitely do so especially the, with the amount of leg room that you get in the uh, back seat but this thing is really smooth. But that V8, once you put your foot down a little bit, it has a nice uh, growl to it. My tester also has the heads of display, which is part of a package, which is around a thousand bucks that offers the uh, heads of display here. Uh, I was looking for, through the infotainment system here. I couldn't find how to brighten it up, but since I have these Polaroid shades on, it's a little hard to see uh, the heads of display. But once you have once you have no sunglasses on and whatnot, you can see it. But I wish that I could find a way to brighten up the a heads up display here this also has the rear view camera mirror which is a nice clean uh, look too i think chevy was the first one to offer the rear view camera option in their pickup trucks uh the seats in here are really comfortable they're nice leather seats they're part of a package as well i like the stitching and the piping that you get but the ram 1500 is a really good uh, pickup truck especially if you're looking for a luxurious interior this has one of the best interiors uh, that any pickup truck offers for the 2021 model year. Of course, yes, Ford has the redesigned F-150 that I tested, and that one had a nice interior as well, but Ram is still on top of his game uh, with this interior here. Uh, let's talk about the infotainment system really quick. This is a Uconnect 4. If you go for the uh, redesigned uh, Pacifica that's gonna offer the Uconnect 5 system, and also the Dodge Durango um, that offers a Uconnect uh, five system as well so it's a really uh, nice clean system that i've seen from uh, the presentation that they showed a while back but the uconnect 4 system is really good as well as a snappy system the uconnect is one of the best uh, systems uh, in the industry you can do drag and drop functions as well just in case you wanted to customize the screen to show all your climate controls you can do so uh, as well but the steering feeling here is really good of course it has that traditional uh, pickup truck uh, feel to it but this thing can really hustle. Like I mentioned, it makes 395 horsepower and 410 pound-feet of torque. If you want something a little bit more fast, you have to check out the Ram TRX. But that makes 702 horsepower and I think 650 pound-feet of torque. But good luck trying to get one of those because I think uh, Ram has sold out for the first uh, year for those. So you probably have to wait till the next, maybe next year or so, to basically get the TRX. But I put my foot down here. The 8 speed automatic transmission is really fast to shift. Like I mentioned, if you're looking to get two more additional gears, you have to check out the other competitors like the Silverado and also the Ford F-150. Uh, fuel economy is rated at, it's rated at 17 in the city, 23 on the highway, and then 19 combined. Just like the other full-size trucks in the segment, that's about the right MPG. But if you go for the new redesign, uh, Ford F-150 with the power boost, you're gonna get a little bit better fuel economy. That offers the most uh, horsepower and torque in the full-size truck segment at 430 horsepower and 570 pound-feet of torque. I'm spending time with the 2021 Ram 1500 Limited. My tester has in a luxurious interior like I showed you guys previous before. The ride quality is smooth. It also has an air ride suspension. So how much does a Ram 1500 Limited cost? Starting price of my Tesla is at $56,050. My Tesla also has some additional equipment which rolls in a ninth edition package which is around $3,900. It also has the technology group that includes that rear view camera mirror. Also the heads of display including the limited level 
equipment group, which is $2,200. And also that dual panoramic sonar for $1,400. My tester has an asset price at 68000 $460. I would give a special thanks to Dayland, Chrysler, Jeep, and Ram for providing me with the 2021 Ram 1500 Limited. If you're in the market for a Ram 1500, you can come to Dayland, Chrysler, Jeep, and Ram. I hope you guys have enjoyed my full overview on the 2021 Ram 1500. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram at Drive Home Reviews and please keep subscribing to the YouTube channel. I'll catch you all in the next video.